right, let's talk about the meeting schedule. Today is the classroom. As y'all know, we go by a certain meeting schedule. Last week, we did the podcast. Next week, we're going to do the behind the scenes, the cameras and production meeting. So, for the classroom session today, we break it down to full YouTube challenge, man. You feel me? I know y'all been enjoying it. I've been peeping the chat. I'm looking at the chat every day. Y'all been going crazy. I hope everybody is understanding more about their YouTube channel, understanding how they can grow their YouTube channel every day because that's the point of the challenge. But if you don't know, this is the framework for the challenge. I ain't going to say too much about it on this slide because, trust me, we got to get into all of this. But something notable to say on this page is the highest growth wins $500. So that's a little incentive for y'all to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I like to host incentives in the chat. To not only just motivate you to keep going, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody need a little push. Everybody need a motivation. Everybody need a community. And this community serves as that. So the context of this is I'm going to break down the daily task, how you actually do it. Break down the weekly task, how you actually do it. And I'm going to show y'all some results on why I kind of pick the daily task and the weekly task. And why I put it specifically in this channel. I mean in this challenge. So let's get straight into it, man, with the daily tasks, tasks that should be performed on a daily basis. Cool. So studying the YouTube channel, obviously, study the YouTube channel means to find what works for your audience, comments, review the highest viewed videos, lowest viewed videos, make analysis, and go off of that. Planning your videos means to script it from intro to end, conveying the story to keep the viewers engaged. Okay, cool. Y'all know that. But how do I do this shit? Okay, cool. So... I told y'all about this app before, but this is um, a more in, de in detail description of how I use the app and why I use the app. So the app is called ViewStats, but you can also use YouTube Studio. So every day that I wake up, every morning I wake up, I log into the app ViewStats. As you can see on ViewStats right now, it got two videos, the first two videos. Those are literally videos that are not even on my channel right now. They unlisted, but there was live streams, which posted as a video, so they still there. With each video on view stats, you can literally click it and you can see the analytics. You can see the time it was posted. You can see the rank it was posted. It's actually crazy how much information, data, and statistics that view stats give you. But like I told y'all, y'all can do the same thing in YouTube Studio. View stats is just a, a platform, a framework that helps you do certain things. So my objective is to find out what's working and why. And ViewStats is a perfect indication to tell y'all why it's working or how it's working and what you got to do to do certain things. They got, as you can see, they got longs, they got shorts, and they got all the stats that basically tell you why your video did what it was supposed to do. You feel me? It's just a shortcut. It's kind of like a YouTube analyst in your pocket if you don't want no YouTube analyst or if you're not as advanced on looking at your own charts, stats, click-through rate, and things in that nature so this is definitely a good app but i keep saying this because you can still do the same thing on youtube studio you feel me you don't need these external ai all that extra stuff you can still do the same thing it might take a little bit longer but studying your channel is strictly that you feel me if y'all got a question make sure y'all type it in the chat i'm gonna be looking at the chat right now you feel me so yeah next up is planning now this right here I, I live by this app right here, bro. You feel me? This app is called Trello. If y'all been in AB Academy for a long time, y'all heard me talk about this app for the longest, bro. Trello is a free app. It's an organization app. It's a structuring app that you can make so much stuff on. It's like a board app where you can make different types of boards and things in that nature. I use this for my to-do list. I use this for my team on YouTube. I use this for pretty much everything. If I'm trying to get something out of my head onto a physical plane, I use Trello. As you can see from this board right here, it's my demo board. It says Avery B demo board. I literally copied this board from my exact framework. So this is how my exact framework look that my camera people in, my editors in, my thumbnail guys, everybody is in this exact framework. It says demo because I copied it from my real one. I deleted all the cards and I put test cards. As you can see, all the cards say test. Can y'all see this? Like, is this is this big enough? Okay, cool, smooth. But yeah, as you can see, this is my exact framework. The first car or section says, come up with video ideas. So when I come up with video ideas, I literally, I can be walking down the street and think of something. I'd be like, okay, cool. Let me put that in the Trello board. A lot of people ask me how I get ideas. I just get them randomly or I get inspiration for something. 
And as soon as I get it, which y'all should do, as soon as you get an idea, or as soon as something pops up, it could be something that you're not even going to use. It could be something that you're going to throw away. But put it in this section. If y'all want to take a screenshot of this, like I said, this is a free tool. Take a screenshot of this and try to use it for your next video. Tell me how it go. So literally when I come up with an idea, I literally type it or write it and I put it in here. As you can see, the first section is come up with video ideas. Once that video idea comes to a point where you like, okay, I can run with this. I can rock with this. I think people will watch this. I literally slide it over. And the app is you hold it and you slide it over. You can use it on iPhone. You can use it on iPad. You can use it on your computer. I got it on everything. You slide it over to the script confirm idea. What does this mean? The video was confirmed. So now I can get to the scripting process. You feel me? And remember when I said the planning your videos is planning the video means to script it. You know what I'm saying? Intro to end. Conveying the story to keep the viewer engaged. Smooth. So when we get here to the script to confirm video section, literally when you slide it over, that's when you get to the, okay, I like this video so much that I confirmed it. I confirmed it means I got a script. It meaning like, how am I going to do this intro? Okay, today's video, da, da, da. Ah, oh, nah, that don't sound too good. I don't think people will fuck with that. I could have said it better. That's when I get to that point. That's when I get here. So from there, once you scripted the whole video out, because you always want to go into a video with a game plan. You know what I'm saying? I like, I'm a spontaneous nigga. I'm a, I'm a type guy where I like to go into videos with like, okay, whatever happened, we can run with it. But I also like to have some type of structure and planning going on as well. Because that gives me a peace of mind. That gives me the mind to film the video very confidently. Y'all ever went into a video and you don't know what's going on and it's kind of like, Oh shit, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. You want to go into a video kind of happy, anxious for sure, you know, because that's how it go, but you definitely want to know what's going on. So once you script a video, you move it to the plan to film video. This is where you're going to put it on your calendar, fit, set a day for it. That's when you start hitting your people up. You know what I'm saying? That's when you start telling your camera people, oh yeah, I need you to pop out this day, this day. That's when you go there. And then on to film video. And for me, after film video, Y'all's going to be probably kind of different. But for me, after I film the video, we move it to the raw cut. And then the editor has the video. After the editor has the video, of course, get it back, post it. You feel me? This is my framework. Y'all's could be a little different, should be a little different based on the type of videos you post, the type of videos you like, and just your workflow. But you always got to have a system on how you do things because systems make everything easier. For example, when you go into a job, they take you through orientation to teach you their system. If you go to McDonald's down the street and then go to McDonald's in a different country, they all going to have the same system because they want to produce the same product. Same thing with YouTube. As long as you take your YouTube as serious as a McDonald's, you can't fail. You can't lose. You feel me? We got to stick with the systems. That's all this shit really be for real, bro. So weekly tasks. Tasks that should be performed once a week. Obviously, of course, smooth is posting a long form video and posting a short form video. I'm pretty sure everybody in here know what a long form video is, how to post a long form video. You feel me? But what people kind of don't understand or know or know in this detail is the short form process. Because I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I've seen a lot of people talk about it in the, um, in the group chat section. So when you post a short form video, you got to go to the video elements tab. This is how you get your short forms to convert to your long forms, right? Save yourself facts on me, system facts. That's hard. This is how you convert your short form videos to your long form videos. You go to video elements. Once you go to video elements, it's going to say add related video. As you can see, connect another of your videos to your video. That's literally what it say. Connect another of your videos to your video. That description is terrible. That shit ass. But basically what they mean, bro, is whatever short you post, you could post a long form link with it. You can embed that link. And that shit right there, bro, is, oh my gosh, that's the best thing YouTube ever did in their life. You feel me? Because it wasn't like that at first. It used They used to want you to have to click links and click descriptions in order to get the link from the short from for the long form video. So as you can see, I posted this short right here one month ago, but I posted this long form video eight months ago. I kid you not, before I posted this short, this video here was probably at like half a million views or something, bro. So literally me posting this short, push this video up that same month to over a million views and it's still going up. You feel me? 
As you can see, this motherfucker got 13 million views. 13 million views is actually crazy, but it's not that crazy when it comes to short form videos. If y'all know anything about short form, if y'all know anything about TikTok, YouTube shorts, reels, it's way easier to get views on those type of videos and them type of platforms strictly because people like short form nowadays. It's easier to consume. It's way more people. The algorithm is easier to push it out to more people. So as us being YouTubers and long form creators, for the longest time, bro, I said, bro, I don't care about no TikTok. I don't care about no shorts. But in all actuality, it's a tool to help us do other things. Like, for example, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of streamers blow up because of TikTok, because of the short form content, because it's easier to consume. It's easier to push. So we got to take advantage of all different aspects, all different avenues and everything that it, you feel me, everything that we can do based on these short form videos. So as you can see, I posted this and it directly contributed to this video. So now I'm about to ask y'all a question because this, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say too much. I'm just gonna ask y'all a question. I'm about to show y'all how much both of these videos made. How much do you think 13 million views on a short form video makes monetarily wise? How much money do y'all think? Less than $10. <laughs> Less than $10. Yeah, okay. probably like, probably like a hundred. A hundred. It probably, yeah, probably about like 350. Right, like a hundred. <laughs> y'all know shorts don't pay a lot, bro. You feel me? But I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This shit surprised me. This video did surprise me on how much it made. I'm about to show y'all how much it made. It's significantly more than what everybody said. This shit made two hundred. I mean, two thousand four hundred dollars. I was surprised, bro. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I don't know how the fuck it made two thousand two thousand dollars. Probably because it had thirteen million views. That's a lot of views. But this video made twenty four hundred. You feel me? And you can see the long form video made sixty four hundred. Even though I think the long form video should have made more, I gotta go look why it didn't make more. But combined, you feel me? It's over nine thousand dollars. You feel me? So. Can't complain on that. Can't complain about that. And this is literally strictly because I uploaded a short and I uploaded a long at the same time or in combination with each other. So that's kind of why I got the structure on the challenge about this. And I truly believe, bro, if we post a short, you know what I'm saying, eventually that motherfucker's going to do 13 million views or eventually it's going to do a million views. Eventually it's going to do something as long as the short's good. I'm going to show y'all the, um, I got to go get the analytics for this short right here. Because when I watched it, it said to watch the click-through rate was like insane. I don't know why, but I kind of can gauge why. If y'all ever seen this short, she was talking about my car. If y'all don't know, I got a Corvette and it's like wrapped all black. And we call it the Batmobile. And she was like, ah, I'm going to eliminate the Batmobile. And then I was like, damn, that's my car. And I went to the car, but we never showed the car. So viewers was expecting to see the car but never seen the car. And the fact that they was expecting to see it, I think that they like looked at the video the whole time trying to see the car. So that told the algorithm that, oh, people watch this whole thing in all actuality. They had to watch the whole thing because they thought they was going to get the payoff for seeing the car and how she talking about the car. Like, look how she looking at the car. She was a, she was a great person to be in this video too because of her personality, because of how she, you know what I'm saying? How she moved her mannerisms and shit like that. But because we did it that way, it boosted this video and it literally be little shit like that bro you just got to figure out your way your method and once you figure out that method once you figure out that way duplicate the fuck out of it bro like run it through the roof you feel me and that's literally what the youtube challenge is about for y'all to do this exact same thing and that's the end of my presentation man you feel me short sweet to the point if y'all got some questions let's run it how y'all feeling talk to me I'm pretty sure y'all can y'all can unmute if y'all want to. Let me know if you can't. Pretty sure you can. Right. Yo, hey, shmo, shmo. Yo, talk to me. All right, so bet. Um, I'm I've been asked you. I've been working to play as far as doing the voiceovers as well. I didn't even update you on that. Um, trying to figure out a way to put it in short form though, because like. I don't want to make the video too long. I, I like when you was touching about the shorts and the reels. And like in my personal opinion, I had did a video like a while ago. I want to say like a couple months ago. I was like, uh, I had cut like a, a white dude. I was like, uh, this is his first time getting cut by a black barber. You feel what I'm saying? 
the video did like 400k and uh pretty much i feel like people was just wanting to watch it uh for number one bro was looking nervous the whole cut but it's actually one of my clients but they didn't know that you feel me like they thought this was like his first time actually getting a cut by me the whole time like bro this is actually like a client for real but uh people would just tap down you know waiting to see his response but really the main point i just wanted to touch on is like how can i put as far as you know doing the the conversations with my client in short form that way i can really draw people attention towards my platform and my content script it out bro script it out in terms of um so let me let me let me ask you this first are you filming a long form and getting a long form i mean getting a short form video from that long form video that you just filmed that's how you're doing yeah. it right okay yeah. so definitely bro i say shoot the shoot the whole video the whole i'm about to show you i'm about to show you exactly how i would do it watch this right here i'm gonna give you a literally an example on when i did it <laughs> 